Welcome back to ATVN. The number one ranked UConn women's basketball team is looking to make history tonight against number six South Carolina by winning its 100th straight game. UConn has not lost a game since November 17th of 2014, where they lost to Stanford in triple overtime. The streak includes two national championships and 60 straight wins at home. Now to give you some perspective on just how long the Huskies have gone without a loss, we asked USC students if they could even remember what they were doing the last time UConn lost a game. I was in high school, like I don't know what I was doing on the day. <laughs> I have not the slightest idea. I don't know where I was like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift's Shake It Off was the number one thing. So, says a lot. Now, should the Huskies pull through tonight, they will be just four games shy of passing the North Carolina women's soccer team's record for most consecutive wins in any NCAA sport ever. But the USC men's basketball team had their five-game winning streak snapped last Saturday versus Oregon. They'll be back at it this week as they take on crosstown rival UCLA. And for more on that matchup, let's toss it to our sports correspondent, Aaron Glazer. Aaron? Thanks, Kristen. USC beat UCLA 84-76 to last time right here at the Galen Center. So the Bruins are definitely ready to see USC again this Saturday. At the Galen Center, UCLA standout Lonzo Ball had 15 points and 10 rebounds, but also committed seven turnovers. USC's Shaquan Aaron had 23 points off the bench in that one, coupled with four rebounds and no turnovers. In the loss to Oregon, USC shot six of 27 from behind the arc, equating to only 22%. They also committed 16 turnovers in the loss. Now, for USC to beat UCLA in the famous Pauley Pavilion this Saturday, they have to contain Lonzo Ball, but stopping Thomas Welsh early and in the paint will be equally as important. Also, USC must convert their three-point shots and get into a rhythm early, or else UCLA student section the den might eat them up. But it should be a great game in a historic arena. Back to you, Kristen. Thanks, Aaron. And another team is going up against their crosstown rival this week is the USC women's tennis team. The women of Troy will face the Bruins on Saturday. Last time the two teams met, USC defeated UCLA 4-1. A big part of that victory was the doubles play of Zoe Katz and Madison Westby. However, this year's lineup for the Bruins is full of new faces, which Westby says adds more pressure. And love is in the air here on campus. And as we get ready to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow, I found a few sweet and salty tweets from our student athletes who are dishing up their best love advice on Twitter. Now, first up, we have USC football sophomore corner Iman Marshall. He gave us some practical advice with the ever relevant, they either going to love or hate you. Let's hope it's all love this Valentine's Day, Biggie. And this one is for all the single ladies and gentlemen out there, coming from women's basketball junior forward Kristen Simon. She tweeted, we need time to be alone. Maybe in reference to Wednesday's holiday, Singles Awareness Day. But finally, the best of the best sweet tweets comes to us from men's basketball guard Elijah Stewart. He tweeted, women play a year-round sport called games. I'm here to tell you it's emotionally draining. Hashtag Naha I rock. Well, Elijah, at least you have plenty of practice playing games. Luckily, he and the rest of our student athletes won't have any games tomorrow, giving them plenty of time to celebrate. Back to you guys.